Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar Libra. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of September 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. So it was late last month. I told you in last month's horoscope, uh, we had a beautiful new moon. And that new moon took place in the sign just before yours, having to do with karma, very lucky energy unleashed at that time that you will still be feeling in the early part of the month. And so karmic luck, very much with you, very much on your side. But as we move towards the middle of the month, the energy is going to shift as energy has a tendency to do with the full moon. Now this full moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life. So your workplace, the people who surround you there, the type of work you're doing. It also has to do with how well you are taking care of you, especially in terms of your habits and in your quietest moments. This can be a particularly profound part of the sky in that it invites you to look for the sacred in your day to day. Now this is actually a life lesson for you. Having this very spiritual energy play out in this part of the sky for you means that you'll be invited to come back to this appreciation, to come back to a sense of compassion and to recognize how spirit is playing out in your life in your smallest moments. It's just that when we have a full moon like this, these very areas, these very lessons become that much more heightened. Now, part of the characteristic of this full moon is that it will be happening close in the sky with Neptune. And Neptune will perfect a connection with Mars, standing across the sky from Mars under the light of this full moon as well. Now these two planets, Neptune and Mars, will stand across the sky from each other about once every two years. So it's not so often an event, but it does represent a time when it can feel like emotions are running high, very much on the surface. And uh, there's a sense of emotionality with a lot of us out there, regardless of sign. Now the moon is only gonna make an intense energy already intense already an emotional energy, that much more emotional. And as it is the case for you, it is going to be these very emotions, this sense of things waning and waxing and coming and going, well, it'll be playing out in your daily life. So for some of you, this is uh, very direct. It's that a project you're working on comes to an end, a contract comes to a close. It might be something that you are anticipating. Uh, for others, this can be a time when it feels as if there's lots going on with the people who surround you every day like your coworkers, like your clients, like your customers. When we have connections between Mars and Neptune like this and this energy playing out in your daily life sector of the sky, sometimes it can feel as if you're not sure where it is or whom it is uh, is being direct with you, whether or not they intend to. Um, there are times when people will pass along information to us with the full belief that it is the correct information and it may not be. And there are other times when we are purposely not given the correct information. So all of this becomes possible under this full moon. And also keep in mind that as much as it is that you have emotional entanglements with the people that you interact with every day, well, it is as much as that, that those very issues will come to the surface that much more. Now, regardless, know that Saturn and Pluto both are speaking in harmony with this full moon. I am so excited about this energy because I feel like it is this energy that's going to invite you to consider things from a perspective of greater stability. You're looking more at the long term and you are also considering how to best empower yourself, if only in your own time. Now, add to this as well, if you are someone who works from home or works with homes, uh, it makes it that much more likely that your work is going to be a space of power, 
that you are looking at how it is that you can continue to build a solid foundation from which you can continue to grow well after this full moon is over. Now, for others of you, as I said, where it comes to your health-related habits, they may come into focus at this time. I love that connection to Saturn and to Pluto because what it tells me is that regardless of what's happening in terms of your awareness of how it is maybe you need to adjust a few things, change a few habits, you have the motivation and you have that sense of a long-term perspective to make changes now that stick, changes that will help you to reap benefits in the fullness of time. Now, as we navigate a little bit further past that full moon, right around the 18th of the month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, just four days after that full moon is when Saturn will officially go direct. So Saturn will be very strong mid-month, appearing to stand still in the sky, officially going direct. Saturn, of course, since last year, has been moving through the very foundation of your chart, the bottom of your sky. This is a particularly powerful place, a place that asks you to consider the foundations, the, the ground on which you stand. It asks you to take a more mature approach as you deal with your family of origin and also as you look towards the past to ultimately put it in its right place so that you can learn from it, you can grow from it, you can see it differently, you can do the work that forgiveness requires so that you can more fully align with a more loving future. Having Saturn move through this part of the sky is truly a blessing because it is from here on out that Saturn for you in your life will continue to grow and gain power for the coming 14 years. This is an important part of the cycle for you. It is now that you start to get a sense of, of things finally moving forward where it comes to matters of home and family of origin. So whether it is that you're looking to make changes on the home front, whether it's buying, selling, moving, new roommate, uh, whether it is that you are hoping to further strengthen the alliances you have with your family of origin, well, all of that starts to feel like it's moving forward in powerful ways now. Now, as we navigate towards the end of the month, this is going to be the high point for you. It is a new moon in your sign. Now, normally you get one new moon per sign per year, and this is yours. This is a new moon that suggests a brand new beginning for you and chances are it's going to be rooted in some sense of clarity about yourself, about what matters to you most and what matters to you first. What makes this new moon distinct is that it is standing across the sky from Chiron. Now Chiron is one of the most widely used asteroids uh, in modern astrology today and it represents a sense of healing, a sense of awareness of your own vulnerabilities and also invites you to consider becoming a healer in your own right. Now, it is going to be right around now that you may have some very powerful interactions with other people at this new moon that show you something about yourself. It is now that you may feel as if another person has acted as a healer in your life. Now, I'm not promising you lots of long-term uh, sticking aroundness of any particular person, and it might be somebody that you already know, but where it is that you have one-on-one -on -one alliances or you're hoping to have a one-on-one -on -one alliances, it is in these particular spaces especially that you may find yourself aligning with someone in a way that either encourages you to do your own work, to see yourself differently, to see yourself more lovingly, or interact with them in a way that increases your own sense of vulnerability. And from there, the work is yours. Well, regardless, this is a moment that you're ready for. This is a moment that ultimately will help you to get in touch with your power and your momentum to have for your own a brand new year. This really is a new year all your own for the Libras out there, regardless of when you are born within this month, or if you've got a Libra rising or a Libra moon, you will find a way to feel as if you have started fresh in at least one way deeply meaningful to you. Now, where it comes to matters of love, we have some really nice things happening this month for you in love. One of the things I'm really excited about is Venus. So it is going to be right around the middle of the month that Venus will enter your sign and will be there right in the next month. So this is a beautiful energy 
and encouraging energy. Whenever Venus is in your sign, first of all, it's a place of power because it's one of Venus's home sign. It's uh, in your own sign as well. And so already Venus being in her home sign makes her stronger. Being your ruling planet makes you feel that much more connected to yourself. But Venus allows attraction. And so when Venus is in your sign, there's not a whole lot you need to do to make love happen. It has a way of coming together. You have a way of just attracting loving experiences towards you. But then there's that new moon, right? And that new moon standing across the sky from Chiron and Chiron in your opposite sign, well, it may very likely be this moment of insight about yourself comes about through an attraction that you have to another person. So if you're open to meeting someone new, remember this Venusian blessing is gonna be with you throughout the second part of the month and into next month as well. So there's a lot to look forward to here. The days around the new moon might be a little sensitive. So you wanna watch the last week of the month. That's when the new moon is gonna be especially active for you. And yes, there is that heightened sense of sensitivity and vulnerability as you open yourself to considering a new person, but it is work that you are ready to do and work that will move you towards greater love than you've known before. For those of you who are just starting to date someone, this can be a powerful time. Venus in your sign makes the experience of love that much easier to come about. And you may feel yourself wanting to experience loving moments with this person. However, the days around the new moon, you do want to be mindful because your own vulnerabilities may be a little high. It might be this person's vulnerabilities that are high as well. Now, ultimately, whatever transpires is going to be revealing, revealing to you about what's really going on in you and why it is that you might have attracted this person into your life. And this person may act as a healer to you or you may realize that you have to summon your own healing ability uh, to a person who maybe is being a little bit more clear about where it is that they need healing as well. For those of you who are in an established bond, well, when we have the new moon, as we will this month, um, like this, it can be powerful for those in established bonds. Uh, on the one hand, you are feeling more connected to your partner, you're giving more as well. However, that sense of vulnerability, that sense of being aware of maybe there's more work to do, whether it's within the bond or whether it's within you, may come to the surface. But with Venus moving through your sign, I think all is gonna feel right with the world, regardless of what shows up, regardless of a moment that may transpire, you will very much be feeling yourself in the midst of love. What I love about this month for you, well, look, it's gotta be Venus and your sign. You will be feeling so much like yourself, which is really very nice. I do want to give you a little bit of a heads up though. While Venus is moving in your sign, you want to be a little bit mindful because uh, during those weeks, uh, we are going to have Venus connect with Saturn, connect with Pluto as well. Now I share this with you because under normal circumstances, having Venus in your sign can be a great time to explore aesthetic changes. So whether it's cosmetic procedures or tattoos or getting a whole new wardrobe or a new hair color, uh, all of that can be especially inviting activity at this time. However, we're gonna have a couple of moments there that'll have you saying, oh dear, what have I done? And so just be mindful of the sky to the best of your ability. But for all that, this is energy that says you will be enjoying your experience as you move through your life. And there is truly a lot to celebrate. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.